What if we've been wrong about the very origin of our universe? Imagine this. The afterglow we thought was left over from the birth of everything, the so-called cosmic microwave background, might not be what we think it is. For decades, scientists have considered this faint radiation, quietly humming through all of space, as undeniable evidence that the universe began with a bang. But today, a new controversy is shaking the very foundation of cosmology, and it all starts with a surprising discovery made by our most powerful telescope. This is not just an academic debate for a handful of physicists. The truth about how the universe started affects everything, from our place in the cosmos to the very nature of reality itself. So, if the Big Bang Theory gets shaken, what comes next? And what mysterious new clues have astronomers found that could rewrite the first chapter of cosmic history? Let's travel back to the beginning, at least the beginning as science has understood it for the last century. In the 1960s, two radio astronomers, Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, stumbled upon a persistent noise in their antenna. It was everywhere, night or day, no matter where they pointed. This wasn't a glitch, but a discovery that would win them the Nobel Prize, the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, or CMB. The CMB is like an ancient photograph of the universe dating back over 13 billion years, just 380,000 years after the Big Bang, which is, in cosmic terms, practically instantaneous, the hot, dense plasma filling the universe cooled enough for atoms to form. Light, previously trapped by all the free electrons, could finally move freely. That first light is still streaming through the universe today, stretched by cosmic expansion into microwaves. We can detect it with sensitive telescopes, and it almost perfectly matches the temperatures and patterns theorized by the Big Bang model. This afterglow became the most important proof that the universe began with an explosive event. Over the years, satellites like COBE, WMAP, and the Planck Observatory have mapped the CMB in ever finer detail. Tiny variations in its temperature, just millionths of a degree, have helped physicists model how matter clumped together, forming stars, galaxies, and ultimately the cosmic structure we see today. The Big Bang, supported by evidence from the CMB, is more than just a theory. For generations of students, it's the first page of the cosmic story. Textbooks, museums, documentaries, all tell us the same tale. The universe began in a hot, dense state and has been expanding, cooling, and evolving ever since. But science, at its core, thrives on questioning assumptions. It's precisely when a theory seems untouchable that new data can shake things up. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, launched in 2021, humanity's most ambitious, technologically advanced eye on the cosmos. Designed to see further back in time than any instrument before, JWST has delivered images and measurements that are, frankly, astonishing. Recently, teams analyzing JWST data noticed something odd. They detected mature, massive elliptical galaxies, called early-type galaxies, or ETGs, at astonishingly high redshifts. In plain English, these galaxies already looked old and structured when the universe was extremely young. According to the standard model, galaxies shouldn't have had time to form, merge, and evolve into their observed shapes just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Yet, there they were, impossible to ignore. Ida Girgo, one of the leading researchers in this field, summed it up. Massive ETG evolution is consistent with recent advancements in stellar and galaxy evolution and is derived entirely without priors or constraints from the CMB. On top of that, a provocative study led by Pavel Krupa at the University of Bonn took these observations a step further. By modeling the formation and brightness of these early type galaxies, they reached a stunning conclusion. The light from these ETGs, when you add it all up, might explain a significant chunk, or even all, of the supposedly primordial cosmic microwave background. Let's pause for a second to appreciate how mind-boggling this is. The CMB has been regarded as proof positive that the universe began with a hot, dense state. But if some, or much, of this background glow is actually the combined emission from ancient galaxies, then the entire timeline of cosmic evolution might need an update. Pavel Krupa himself didn't mince words. Our results are a problem for the standard model of cosmology. It might be necessary to rewrite the history of the universe, at least in part. It's a bold claim. Is this just a weird numerical coincidence, or is there something fundamentally wrong with our understanding of the universe's beginning? To grasp the scale of this challenge, we need to understand what these new observations really mean. 
The standard model of cosmology, often called Lambda CDM, describes a universe dominated by dark energy, the mysterious force causing accelerated expansion, dark matter, the invisible glue holding galaxies together, and ordinary matter, all the stuff we can see. The Lambda CDM model leans heavily on the CMB as a foundation. Its near-perfect blackbody spectrum, the distribution of temperature bumps, and the so-called B modes in its polarization. All these bits of evidence are supposed to lock the Big Bang into place. But there's a catch. All measurements in astronomy are complicated by foregrounds, stuff between us and the signal we want to measure. Dust in our own galaxy, the Milky Way, has long been known to contaminate CMB signals. But what if ancient galaxies themselves, far older than the model predicted, also contribute? According to this new research, the brightness and abundance of ETGs could account for up to 100% of the CMB, depending on the details of the model and the data used. This isn't just about a small error. The implication is enormous. If the CMB isn't purely the afterglow of the Big Bang, then much of what we use to date the age of the universe and to support the very idea of a singular beginning could be up for debate. Of course, astronomy is filled with uncertainties. The distances are unimaginable. The time scales mind-bending. Could we really have overestimated the CMB's strength for decades? The researchers behind the ETG CMB hypothesis have tried to be careful. Their work is based on detailed measurements of the sizes, distances, and brightness of elliptical galaxies. They used new models, like the Integrated Galaxy-Wide Initial Mass Function Theory, to simulate how these objects formed, shone, and evolved over cosmic time. They also caution that the research is preliminary but the numbers are hard to ignore. One simulation suggests ETGs could explain just over 1% of the CMB, another, the full 100%. That's a spread wide enough to include both a quiet correction and a cosmic revolution. Lloyd Knox, a cosmologist at UC Davis who is not involved in the study, weighs in on the stakes. Detecting B modes is key to finding an inflationary signature in the CMB polarization, offering insights into the early universe. If the CMB is not a pure snapshot of the early universe as we thought, those inflationary signatures might not be what we think or could be missing altogether. But not everyone is convinced that the Big Bang is on the ropes. Sabine Hassenfelder, a theoretical physicist and well-known science commentator, points out that most alternative cosmological models, while stimulating, often lack predictive power and require a lot of fine-tuning. In other words, even if the CMB is more complicated than we thought, there isn't yet a clear replacement for the broad successes of the standard model. Meanwhile, another big name in theoretical physics, Roger Penrose, has suggested a radical cyclical universe, where one aeon of expansion fades seamlessly into the next. His Conformal Cyclic Cosmology, or CCC, is one of several alternatives that become more plausible if the standard account is called into question. And what about dark matter? Mordechai Milgram, famous for developing modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, argues that we may not need dark matter at all if gravity itself behaves differently at cosmic scales. If our most basic assumptions about the universe's content and behavior are being debated, the foundation shakes. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Astronomers stress that this is the nature of science. New data introduces new uncertainties, and every leap in observational power brings both clarity and confusion. The James Webb Space Telescope is uncovering galaxies where, quite frankly, we didn't expect to see them. It's as if we've been reading a novel and halfway through realize there's a missing chapter at the beginning. This brings us to the central problem. If the CMB is at least partly or even mostly a foreground generated by early galaxies, then how much of our cosmic history has to be rewritten? Are there undetected biases in how we've analyzed CMB data until now? Are we seeing the universe as it truly is or as our instruments allow us? One thing is certain, with every advance in telescope technology, the universe grows both clearer and more mysterious. As physicist Pavel Krupa puts it, it might be necessary to rewrite the history of the universe, at least in part. So, what happens now? Can new measurements, perhaps from future CMBS4 experiments or next-generation telescopes, help us disentangle the primordial afterglow from the glow of ancient galaxies? Or does the answer demand not just better data, but a whole new theory of everything? And if we've been wrong about the very beginning, how might this upend our search for everything from dark matter to other universes? The story is just beginning to unfold. In the next part, we'll see how the world's leading scientists are racing to test these radical new ideas and find out what it will mean for the ultimate fate and origin 
of our universe. So where does this leave us in the story of our universe? When we closed out the first half, we were standing at the edge of a cosmic precipice, the comfortable cornerstone of the Big Bang, the idea that the cosmic microwave background is a pristine relic of the universe's fiery birth, now appears to rest on uncertain ground. Suddenly, a tantalizing new possibility emerges. Could the CMB, our window to the dawn of time, be clouded by the lingering glow of ancient galaxies? And if so, what does this mean for the very foundation of cosmology? Let's gaze into the future, into the heart of this scientific storm. If upcoming research supports the idea that early-type galaxies, the massive, mature giants surprisingly abundant in the infant cosmos, are responsible for a significant fraction, or even all, of the CMB, the consequences will ripple through physics like a cosmic shockwave. First, the story we've told ourselves about the universe's birth may need a sweeping rewrite. Generations of textbooks, documentaries, and midnight conversations under starry skies have leaned on the CMB as undeniable proof of the Big Bang. If what we're seeing is not the thermal echo of the universe's origin, but a haze radiating from galaxies that formed earlier and evolved faster than anyone expected, then the Big Bang is no longer the sole lead in our cosmic drama. Imagine for a moment. You wake up tomorrow and the headlines scream that the universe might not have started the way we thought. That primordial fireball, the singularity bursting into space and time, might not be the opening act. This would be more than an academic quibble. It would redefine what it means to look backwards in time. Physicist Pavel Krupa warns, Our results are a problem for the standard model of cosmology. It might be necessary to rewrite the history of the universe, at least in part. His words echo a profound scientific humility. For decades, cosmologists treated the CMB as a solid foundation. Now even the most respected models are up for debate. And the consequences? Far-reaching. If the Big Bang model is shaken, the timeline of galaxy formation, the nature of dark matter and dark energy, and even the ultimate fate of the cosmos would need to be reconsidered. Entire subfields, like inflationary theory, which relies on specific signatures in the CMB, could face major overhauls or even be swept aside. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. Let's consider the risks and opportunities ahead. On the risk side, the sudden loss of the CMB as a reliable cosmic beacon would throw decades of carefully tuned cosmological parameters into doubt. The value of the Hubble constant, estimates for the age of the universe, and our understanding of early structure formation, all of it could require recalibration. For scientists who have built their careers on the standard model, these are uncomfortable waters. Yet, with risk comes opportunity. The quest to unravel this mystery could usher in a new era of creativity in theoretical physics. Alternative models, some long marginalized, others only emerging, might finally get their moment in the sun. Could Roger Penrose's conformal cyclic cosmology, with its vision of endless cosmic cycles, better fit the data? Might Mordechai Milgram's ideas about modified gravity provide a more elegant solution to galaxy rotation curves and the CMB's origins? And let's not forget the role of technology. The next generation of instruments like the CMBS-4 experiment designed to measure the polarization of the microwave background with unprecedented precision will be crucial. Perhaps these tools can peel back the foreground contamination, separating the intergalactic whisper of ancient galaxies from a genuine cosmological glow. What previously seemed like statistical noise may soon become the key to a new paradigm. The James Webb Space Telescope is already reshaping expectations. Its ability to peer further and with greater clarity than ever before means that the population and properties of early-type galaxies can finally be studied in exquisite detail. As we map their distribution, brightness, and evolution, we'll gain critical evidence to either support or refute these provocative new claims. There's also a lesson in scientific skepticism here. As theoretical physicist Sabine Hossenfelder notes, alternative models to Big Bang cosmology often lack predictive power and require fine-tuning. In our rush to embrace the revolutionary, we can't forget the standard model's remarkable successes. It's explained the abundance of light elements, the large-scale structure of the cosmos, and more. Dismissing it too quickly could blind us to crucial insights. So, what practical lessons emerge from this cosmic controversy? What can you, the curious viewer, take away as you contemplate both the grandeur and the gray areas of the universe? First, science is a moving target. Today's consensus can become tomorrow's curiosity. Just as the Copernican Revolution upended Earth's cosmic importance or quantum mechanics rewrote the rules of reality, 
so too can new data force a wholesale revision of the story we tell about the universe. The lesson? Stay curious and stay humble. The explorers mapping out the frontiers of cosmology are not so different from you and me. They too are learning as they go. Second, beware of false certainty. The CMB's apparent clarity lulled even experts into treating one cosmological model as gospel truth. But every measurement is filtered through layers of theory and instrumentation. As we develop sharper tools and deeper insights, our models must remain flexible. The willingness to question, to challenge, to imagine alternatives, these are the engines that drive scientific progress. Third, the power of collaboration. These breakthroughs didn't come from one lone genius peering through a telescope. They arose from teams across the globe, from Nanjing to Bonn, from JWST engineers to data theorists. Even as competing theories arise, whether from Penrose or Milgram, the debate deepens our collective understanding. Whoever ultimately wins, the journey enriches us all. Fourth, technology is destiny. Each leap in observational capability, from radio telescopes to the space-based marvels of today, opens unforeseen vistas. The tools we build shape the questions we ask, and sometimes, the answers reveal a universe stranger than anyone predicted. If you ever doubted the need for scientific investment, let this be a reminder. When we dare to look deeper, reality rewards us with wonder. And finally, a lesson in philosophical perspective. The news that our cosmic background might not be a perfect time capsule isn't a tragedy. It's an invitation. Nature is more subtle, more complex, and more beautiful than our neatest stories. The universe doesn't exist to make things easy for us. Instead, it challenges us to see further, think harder, and accept ambiguity as the price of progress. So, returning to that big question from the start, will the scientific community have to rewrite the history of the cosmos to let go of the Big Bang as its opening act? The honest answer is, maybe. We're still gathering evidence, still debating, still arguing late into the night. Some experts warn against grand revisions until more data arrives, while others, like Pavel Krupa, see the cracks in the standard model growing too large to ignore. If early-type galaxies really do account for a major slice of the CMB, a new chapter in cosmology will be required, one that may blend the Big Bang with ideas only now emerging from the scientific shadows. But here's the secret that most headlines miss. The universe cares little for our confidence. Every discovery that threatens to topple our favorite theory is, in truth, an invitation to a deeper mystery. The most profound cosmic truths may yet lie beyond our current reach, waiting for the next generation of scientists, and perhaps the next generation of viewers like you, to take up the quest. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember, the light you see, and even the radiation you can't, may have stories more tangled and astonishing than anything we've dreamed. The search for cosmic origins is far from over. In fact, it's only just begun. If this cosmic intrigue has sparked new questions or challenged what you thought you knew, tell us in the comments below. What do you think? Are we on the verge of rewriting the history of the universe? Or is the Big Bang still safe for another generation? Don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the universe's greatest mysteries. And here's a final secret. Every time a theory falls, the universe gets a little more fascinating, and so do we. Thanks for watching.